Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your February Love Tarot. This will be a Valentine's Day reading, having a look to see who's got their eye on you, who's thinking about you, who might approach you uh, during this period, this Valentine's Day period. This can be an ex, this can be a current lover, this can be someone you've been trying to attract, um, or someone that might come uh, very unexpectedly to you. So we'll see what the cards can reveal here, Aries. Uh, just a reminder, if you could like, share, subscribe, that would really mean a lot. Um, otherwise, this reading can be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we'll have a look and see. It will be a five-card reading. Let's have a look and see who's thinking about you, who's got their eye on you, who's uh, crushing on you for the Valentine's Day period. Okay, the Knight of Cups can be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, the Knight of Cups can be someone who has made you an offer of love or wants to make you an offer of love. Um, it can also be someone who cares very deeply for you already. So this could be an existing friend, maybe someone you've put um, in the friend zone here, Aries. Uh, it could be someone who you once had an attachment to emotionally. It could be someone who's done a lot for you, has shown you a lot of care or compassion, or can be someone quite um, compassionate, very, very reliable or trustworthy, um, and also someone who expresses their emotions. So someone highly affectionate, someone that could communicate how they feel amongst friends and family. Uh, so I feel like this is someone quite emotionally expressive. Um, but again, something about attachments uh, and this person being perseverant, okay, they're prepared to cross oceans and go up mountains. So I feel like this person would do a lot for you, hold you in very, very high regard here, uh, Aries. But it could be someone that has water tendencies, okay, someone who could fall very hard, someone that can be quite intuitive, um, even a creative person, a little bit alternative uh, or involved in the creative arts, which uh, water signs often are. Uh, so it could be someone like this as well. Um, it's something about an offer of love here, a confession. They might have recently confessed their feelings or will confess their feelings. Okay, the Ace of Chalice is more water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is uh, equivalent to the Ace of Cups. Um, Aces bring about new chapters. So for some of you, this person has recently started something new. A new fitness regime, um, got a new haircut, started a new job, started a new career path, um, started a new hobby. But there's something about new starts, new beginnings. Um, often the Ace of Chalices can have a religious connotation. Uh, we can see a fountain here, fountain of water. So again, um, it could be someone who's quite in touch with uh, nature, spirituality, philosophy, religion. Uh, it could be someone who has a passion for the water here. Um, we see the moon. So this could be someone with cancer traits or someone who has cancer energy in their natal birth chart. Uh, but I feel like with the, the water flow so eloquently, so beautifully, almost majestically. Um, so I feel like there's something very uh, majestic or talented about this person. Maybe they're famous. Maybe they'll have a, they have a piece of art or photography or something that's, that's revered or followed. Uh, but they could do things quite beautifully. Maybe they're just quite beautiful, whether this is external or internal. Uh, but I feel like with the ace, there's a new chapter around this person. They could have cancer tendencies here. Um... They could also go with the flow, something about ebbing and flowing here as well. Uh, but there's just something quite quite capturing or mesmerizing about them. They could be quite mesmerizing here as well. Um, and maybe they came into your life after some sort of new start, whether you changed jobs, changed living locations, you know, you had something new, a new chapter open up in your life. And if this person is associated with it, it could definitely be someone you're currently uh, attracting or someone who's coming in for a renewal, a renewed connection. The water indicating purification. It's very ritualistic. It can be someone who's wanting forgiveness or wanting another chance with you uh, in, in some way or shape uh, here, Aries. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles, it could be someone you work with, someone under an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, it could be someone who already ha has stability or marriage or, you know, the dream home, the family, it could definitely be someone taken, the Queen of Pentacles representing uh, stability and consistency and laying down roots, you can see the vines, the gardens that grow around her, so this can be someone who already has stability romantically in their life, but they could definitely be... Um, interested in you romantically or is thinking about you during this period 
Um, if that's not the case, it could be someone you work with, someone that's quite financially independent or successful. They could work with assets, have quite a bit of money, come from a wealthy family, uh, generate quite a bit of money. Be, be quite lucky. Okay, the rabbit is here. Um, someone quite cultured as well. They could love the outdoors, um, the fine arts, literature, poetry. Uh, they could have an element of sophistication about them as well. So it could be someone quite sophisticated or it could just show someone quite humble and grounded. Someone who takes a very realistic approach to things, um, likes to weigh things up. Uh, maybe quite humble here as well. Uh, humble energy coming up with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, to me, she can have a, uh, a Taurian influence because of the, the horns here. So it could even be someone with Taurus traits or someone that is a Taurus uh, or the strong and silent type. Okay, someone quite reliable, uh, sensual, likes to take things slow, quite patient even. Uh, that could also be the case, but they like to find beauty in things uh, as well. That's coming up around this person, but definitely be someone you work with or someone you know through money. Okay, the strength card, it could be someone under the sign of a Leo, someone who's a leader, someone very confident, nurturing, maybe even a little bit protective or possessive. Um, the strength card could be someone, uh, someone quite strong mentally, uh, physically. It could be someone who is uh, perseverant, has been through a lot, always bounces back, someone quite resilient. It could be someone that's a leader or has alpha energy, uh, so... Uh, um, you know, whether this is they're in the popular group in college or school or uh, they're, they're, they lead a large team uh, or, you know, they're the center of attention. There's a lot of focus on this person, prestige or focus maybe um, on them with the strength card. But it could be someone who's quite uh, into sports and being active, um, even quite a competitive energy, the lion being quite competitive, um, but definitely someone who has a lust a lust for you, a passion, the lion being very carnal. So uh, it could be someone who is very deeply sexually attracted to you here, uh, Aries. But this masculine energy, this this bravado even, they might have a bit of showmanship. Okay, they might like to show off. They might like to, uh, maybe they have a braggadocious way about them. They they might like to boast their skills and and, and show off and, and this is how far I can, I've come and this is what I've done. So they could be quite showy, maybe with brands, maybe with skills, maybe with wealth. Um, they could have this component, not always. Strength could be just strength of character here. So it's not always that. But uh, for some of you Aryans watching, um, it could be someone like that with the strength card here. Maybe someone who's been strong or trying to be strong for you. Um, or is thinking about you and trying to be strong, especially if there's been loss, loss which has come up in the form of the Five of Cups. Uh, for some of you, this is someone you've lost touch with, someone who's still emotional about whatever happened, um, someone that um, maybe there was a breakup or heartbreak, they're still healing and they're still thinking about you, especially if it was a third-party situation, if there was multiple people, exes or exterior influences that impacted the relationship directly. Uh, and it could be a water sign here or someone quite emotional. Maybe they're sensitive. Maybe they're um, prone to criticism or judgment. Uh, maybe they have an addiction. Okay, it could be someone that has an addictive personality or is prone to addictions. Sometimes the five showing overindulgences or not knowing when to stop. Um, it could also be someone who's a twin flame, the two cups behind here. Twin flame soulmate union here, Aries, which is quite nice. Uh, but it could be someone you're currently involved with. Could also be second chances. I mentioned renewal, rebirth potentially, um, building a bridge, okay, and and going moving on to the next phase with this person. Um, so for some of you, there's someone here that maybe around this Valentine's Day period, you might instigate another connection with this person. You might have that chance to reconnect or have a chance to have a second relationship with them and, and see where things go and and how things pan out between the both of you that's that's highly likely but it could be someone who's still heartbroken um, or there's a sadness about them they've had loss maybe in their recent uh, past loss of a job loss of a large amount of money loss of a person um, loss of some sort of battle a legal battle a health battle uh, that could also be the case here Aries uh, but I do hope this reading has been helpful. Um, please remember it is a general reading. If you have enjoyed it, please feel free to give me a like, thumbs up, 
um, or subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button. Um, otherwise, thanks for tuning in, Aries. Have a fabulous Feb, and we shall be in touch very, very soon. So take care and all the best. Bye for now.